All right, hi everyone. Uh, today we're gonna take a closer look at Xbox version two 2023. Um, I've had this motorcycle for almost two weeks now, and yeah, we're gonna discuss uh, what I like about this motorcycle, what I don't like, and some other things in between. All right, well, um, let's start with uh, what I like about this motorcycle. First is it's very comfortable. Uh, the ride is uh, very smooth. The suspension is smooth as well, and the most sm the smoothest of them all is the handling. Uh, the handling is very smooth. It doesn't feel like you're riding a a uh, hundred and eighty kilogram motorcycle. It's it's like you're just um, driving a, a lower displacement motorcycle. So that's the first thing I like. It's very comfortable. The second thing is the speed man the speed uh, of xbox version 2 2023 is a very it's it's very good yamaha did a great job on this because it has a uh, almost 30 newton meters of torque so it will not let you down whenever you're gonna take over somebody it will not let you down as you can see on the video it's a very smart it's very fast it's quick and for me Top speed, the top speed of this motorcycle is uh, good as well. But for me, what uh, the more important thing is um, the acceleration. So the acceleration of this motorcycle is very good. It's it's very fast. Number three is it's full packed with features. As you can see, uh, it has two screens. One is uh, just 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 the normal. Um, LED screen I think I, I'm not sure what it's called but the second one it's a TFT screen so it's colored it's very bright and it's very sharp so uh, right here I'm just buying a drink uh, we're gonna meet up with friends and we're gonna test the top speed of this motorcycle so yes yeah, you can see it's very it's very sleek <laughs> That's why I bought this motorcycle. Uh, yeah, so the next thing I love is the compartment the compartment is very huge. It's it's humongous, guys. It's ginormous. Uh, uh, you can fit maybe like one or two or even a three year old in the in the compartment. It fits two, a uh, full faced helmet and some other things in between. So yeah, um, the last thing I like about this motorcycle is it is unique. So when you whenever you go for a ride, um, you're gonna see. A lot of Edmax, a lot of Aerox, a lot of Click, a lot of ADVs, a lot of uh, Mio Sporties, a lot of other things. But you're you're rarely ever gonna see an an, an X Max on the street. So um, that's probably one of the biggest factor why I bought this motorcycle. I want something that is unique. So um, I want something that is an eye catcher. So uh i've i've been asked by multiple i've been asked multiple times by other uh by other people that i don't know by strangers that what what is that motorcycle is that the x max v2 blah 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 so yeah that's the reason why i bought this motorcycle i want i want i want to be unique i want my motorcycle to be unique i i don't want something that uh everyone can have all right so uh yeah so those are the things that i like there are some issues that I would like to discuss. Uh, the, the, these issues were raised by other reviewers because I before I bought this motorcycle, there are a lot. Uh, I've, I've watched a lot of reviews. So first thing is uh, they say that it's too wide and it's too heavy. So um, while, while both of these are true, um, it's, 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 not, it's not a big of a deal, to be honest with you guys. To start, I am 5'7". And uh, I, uh, I'm not flat-footed because yeah, it it is wide, but um. It's not really a big of a deal. You can still handle. You can still, pretty much handle the motorcycle freely and smoothly. As you can see, I'm just, uh, squeezing through traffic here, and that's the second thing that I would like to discuss. It's uh, other reviewer says that you can't fit into traffic anymore. But that that's not true. As you can see on the video, I'm just comfortably squeezing through traffic, and yeah, I don't know why they they make it such a big uh, big deal, and uh, besides this is um, 
a very I'm 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 not gonna say it's very expensive, but it's expensive. So I I wouldn't risk squeezing through very tight uh traffic. So just 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 wait and stop. All right, you, you don't have to fit or squeeze into traffic uh always. So yeah, that's those are the things that I would like to raise. One more thing is they always say. Um, if you buy an X Max, it's not expressway legal. So what? Why not as well buy a four hundred cc motor, motorcycle? Uh, yes. Uh, this is only three hundred cc, but, uh, for me, for my use case, I'm only, I I rarely ever go to places that require me to use an expressway, so I only want something that is unique, that is fast, and that is uh X Max, uh, and yeah. So 300cc is fine for me. I don't use expressways. Probably it's 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 good to have actually. And to be honest with you, it's 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 a very good thing, but the gas account, how do I say this? It will cost more fuel. So yeah, it, it will cost more fuel if you go for a 400cc motorcycle. But uh for this one, the fuel economy for 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 my 2 weeks of usage is 23 kilometers per liter. And it has 13 liters of fuel tank capacity. So those are the issues I would like to raise. All right. Uh, now let's discuss the things that I don't like. <laughs> First thing is there's no tire hugger or engine cover. So this might be purposely done for, uh, for the X Max so that the 300 cc engine can breathe comfortably. But from where I'm at. Uh, where muds and puddles can't be avoided, you will have to constantly clean your uh, your X Max. Right here on the video, you can see uh, I'm testing the uh, the top speed. See, guys, you can see it for yourself. The torque is very fast. I own I I got to one hundred twenty six kilometers per hour in probably in less than 10 seconds so yeah i'm now on 137 still gonna go still gonna go so look at uh just watch 130 120 125 120 130 see you see guys this this is very fast so yeah that's why i bought this motorcycle so i'm now i'm i'm on 139 141 142 143 so unfortunately i ran out of road <laughs> i ran out of road but uh x max still can go faster so if if there's no traffic at all and i have the road all to myself i probably will reach 150 160 but i'll have to test that out in another video where i'm full geared and i have full safety gears so Second thing I don't like is I I already lost a rubber stopper for the side stand. Uh, I'm not sure how it got lost, but I already ordered one with a washer and a screw, so it's more secured. So yeah, that just just um just a heads up, guys. I already lo I I already lost a rubber stopper. The last thing that I don't like is the price, <laughs> guys. This motorcycle is expensive. Uh, it's it currently retails at. Two hundred ninety nine thousand, so might as well just say three hundred thousand. For that price, you can pr probably get a better motorcycle with higher displacement, probably four hundred cc, and other better features. Or you can get a cheaper one, uh, a lower displacement one, and still have enough money to spare for other expenditures. So yeah, it's very cheap. But again, the reason why I bought this motorcycle is again it's unique. I want something that is fast. I want something that is unique and coincidentally guys x max its headlight is shaped as an x and uh it starts with an x x max and as i said coincidentally my name is sen so it starts with an x as well <laughs> so yeah um that's those are the reason that uh those those are the things that i like and those are the things that i don't like about the x max all right guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions, uh, just drop them down in the comment section. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And uh, if you're planning to buy this motorcycle, uh, don't hesitate to drop down, uh, drop down a question below on the comment section. I can, uh, I'm ha I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Also, I'm not sure if I'm gonna 
turn my YouTube channel for I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna turn my YouTube channel to um model vlogging channel. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, but of course I'll be posting more X Max related videos in the next few weeks. So if you're up for it, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, see you on the next one. All right, have a great day.